And our guest is, or should you say our guest star, mm -hmm. a Lagos-based Afrocentric influence band founded by brothers Kingsley Okori and Benjamin James. We don't need to find out why the last names are different. Mm -hmm. Together, they play their own genre called iLife Fusion, which combines Afrobeats, iLife, jazz, and soul music. Kingsley was born in the year 1990, I'll tell you, and Benjamin <laughs> a year later. They were both born in Lagos to parents from Olu Imo State and are respectively the first and second of five siblings. Growing up, they listened to Osa Debi, Oliver De Kook, Oye Kanwenu, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Choma Jesus, Gozi Ekeke, Bai Chimete, who became major influences in their music. Let us make welcome the one and only modern caveman. <laughs> <laughs> What's Thank good, you. man? You because when people hear cavemen, they think you are coming with some. Huh? So let's tell them your mother. You know, you got the vibe and the, got the yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. So what's good? What's yeah. good with that, man? I see some Afrocentric stuff going on. I see the streets, yeah. you know, okay, hip style. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what's going on with the both of you, man? And then your sound is, you know, the... Before we even... Before, let's take it one step at a time. Yeah. Why are your surnames different? Um, really, uh... <laughs> I, I should explain that. Okay. So, um... Well, I was formerly Benjamin Okoye. Okay. But uh, for spiritual reasons, mm -hmm. I had to change. That's, oh. that's, all, I, that's all I have to okay. say about that. Well, after the show, I'm going to talk about <laughs> it. Right, so, um, can you tell us what's going on? The fusion. I, I like what I see. You know, you give off that, you know, African guy, and you come with a street vibe. What's up with that? Is that how your personalities are? Or? Yeah, mm. we, we strongly believe in fusion, and that's why we're doing it together, because, like, mm. we believe in duality and perspective, you know, and the combination of that brings just just you know brings out what people know as the caveman so yeah it's the caveman is you know largely you know based on fusion right I, I like that your influence is not very mainstream mm -hmm. even your introduction i don't think i know any 1996 Sorry, I just jabbed your age. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> any, um, so, you know, the millennials who have mm. the type of influence, usually you hear like the Drakes and mm. Weekend. That's usually what, it, and there's nothing wrong yeah. with that, but mm. um, it's really different with you guys. And I, it seems a bit conscious, even with your style and everything. Do you think that your parents, obviously your parents have put you on to that, had anything to do with it? Or you think maybe even when in a different family, different setting, you will have still found these people. Do you, know, do you get what I mean? Yeah, mm. I, I feel like, you know, as we were growing up, we were learning unconsciously. We didn't know where we were going, <laughs> but mm. like everything was just like going in that line, you mm. know. So mm. for us, like, this, the kind of music we listen to when we were kids. So the way the setup was is that my dad was the, our dad was a secular guy. Mm. Our mom was the gospel, everything, yeah. Eastern gospel, Western gospel, right. everything. Um, my, the driver was the high life guy. Mm. <laughs> then the sec our security guy was a DJ. So right. like there was music everywhere. So right. like my parents didn't have to know music, you know. Mm. They just needed to just expose us here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, I yeah. like that. All right. So I like the originality, or mm. should I say, the mm. uniqueness of your sound because it's a breath of fresh air, if you ask me. Mm. You know, mm. you go around and then you listen. Like she called it before the Don't show. Don't expose me, please. Do one music, right? <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. So, um, but you know, you have substance, you have rhythm, you have vibe, you have soul lifting music. Mm. I'm too much of a fan on this mm. one, not represent that cover. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. So, um, how do you guys, well, how does your creative process work? Mm. I mean, it depends. So it could be, it could be me having a dream, and I'm like, pow! Kisley, <laughs> let's play a song. Or it could be um, we listening to an old music, mm. and then we have like a melody from there. Right. It, it comes in different ways. Different okay, ways. but different if we ways. put you guys into the industry, oh, all seriousness, are we from Pangulu? Pangulu sells mm -hmm. more, it does, it does. right? Yeah. And it's more mainstream. Mm. Um, talking real facts now, is it hard? you know staying relevant, especially in the lucrative sense mm. um, of things, because mm. it's not the most digestible type of music mm. in this yeah. era. Yeah. So how has that how's that like for you? Um I feel like music is impartial. That's yeah. what keeps us very, yeah. very, very calm. You know, mm. because like when you know you do music that you're happy mm. with, mm. you don't I mean there's a part of financial happiness, but like in your heart. Mm. You know, that happiness that you find in your heart, that you know that you're doing what you love, you're doing the music that inspires you and inspires a lot of people. Man, 
Uh, no, that's priceless for us. All right, so when I watch your performances, right, all I see is some form of spiritual connection with some realm. Yeah. You know, I don't know where you guys connect to Mm. or where you get your spiritual connection from because Mm. we have different sources, you know. So, yeah. (laughs) So, I don't know where you guys get it from, but I just see this connection to a realm. Is that really what it is, or you're just putting up an act? Is it that when you're performing, you just get taken somewhere else? With and you where are you there? going? Yeah, where um, they take you? I mean, for me, because mm. uh, we have we have different dimensions, right? Okay. So for me, is 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 the Most High, the Holy Spirit, mm. does the job for me. Mm. So I just pray, and then and then it takes control. I'm never myself on the drums, so mm. I just sit down, and then it just takes you away. Gone. Mm. How about you? <laughs> so, um, I'm still coming for back. Me, to you, for me, I strongly believe in you know my ancestors. Mm. You know, so like mm. ancestors, not not really in the literal sense, but in like for former musicians that have gone, mm. that that have done this thing before. So mm. I believe in Fela. I believe in Rex Lawson. Mm. I believe in Osadebi. I believe in Oliver De Kokwe. So like when we're on stage, I feel them with us, and mm. I feel the pain of our people. You know, people who were killed in the civil war, yeah, I feel that pain, you know. So, like, these things really push us, like, knowing that we have these people behind us, like, supporting us and actually even singing to the people with right. us mm. as well. So, yeah. If I'm going to go on, so, that, okay. on that motion, um, I, we have similar um, stories with that. My father was, his dad was killed in the war. And we even went to Edo, and my surname is changed and everything, but I'm an emo girl, right? Mm. So, I, I understand that pain mm. and that struggle. Yeah. But in this Lagos, mm. I'm bringing it back to Lagos now, mm. there is a high tension that nobody really speaks about, about mm. the divisions between tribes. Yeah. Um, it is, I mean, Lagos is a Yoruba state, mm. yes. Uh, even my mother is Yoruba, so mm. I guess I'm torn in between both worlds. <laughs> um, but there is a tension with that. And I know it affects um, infrastructures and industries yeah. and things yeah. like that. And lately on, on social media, there was an uproar between Mike and Kunle Afolayo. Mm. Mm both great people um, and there was an assumption that there was tribalism being the underlying issue between Mm. them Uh, not to make the story about them because you are our guest Mm. uh, we would you know personalize it to you in your journey in this industry have you ever had that experience to try and either feel the pressure to reduce your evil side sound more Lagosian Mm. or like you know dim down some of your tribal sides just to fit in or make that connection or you know get ahead and stuff have you ever had to have you ever experienced anything like that we we just largely we just connect with the we just connect with unity and purity because like at the end of the day you know every human is gifted and everybody's gifted you know regardless of your tribe so Mm. like we just connect with that source that's okay because I'm Igbo doesn't mean I should not listen to Fela Kuti. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. Fela is one of our greatest inspirations. Mm. And it doesn't stop me from doing high life. It doesn't mm. stop me from just know, just know what you believe in. Know your source. Be happy with it and preach your word. Simple. And love. Yeah. All right. So I stand to be corrected, right? Mm. You've said um, at least like twice now, you've said something about spirituality, you know, mm. the Holy Spirits and all of that. Um, the question is for both of you, but I'd like you to answer first. So I see you like a born again Christian mm. who believes in God. And I see you as a realist mm. who believes in in Maybe spirituality. We are mm. in spirituality. You believe in a religion, you believe in a supreme being, but you just have spirituality. Am I correct? And um, am I, let's, let's start with him first. Mm-hmm. That, is that true? I mean, we both pray. I think we share similar. Um, yeah, I beliefs. think from him, it takes from me. It's, mm. it's just the same energy. Okay. If not, it won't work. Mm. Right, so for you, so, am I right about yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, we believe in Chuku, we believe in God, you know. Mm. You know mm. we believe. But do you go to church? No, I don't go to church. But you go, go to church. church. You don't go to church. <laughs> <laughs> so which one is the only, only go start on this? You don't have the church is not the place for people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, retro true, true. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. No vibes. I mean, it's, right, I think well it's millennial, millennial vibes. We really begin to own our, our spirituality. Mm. And yeah, it's not something that you can box. Every time 
every time I'm on the same one, they bring religion. It's very hard because <laughs> sometimes I sound agnostic today, atheist tomorrow, really spiritual today. Yeah. But it, it, it's not something that you can box. So I, yeah. let's not make that com- that thing, this conversation about that yeah. because yeah. we need another another show. Yeah. But I want to ask about your personal lives and fame, right? Mm. You guys are really young, doing really well. If you mm. mention cavemen now, especially since Saturday, I feel like on my timeline, all I could see was yeah. this person's coming to my wedding. Big this person's coming to my wedding. Shout out to you guys for performing. That yeah. was a great performance, man. So you guys are the finale. Fire. Mm. Proper fire, hot stuff. And I can imagine that your realities have changed before, you know, this type of exposure. Mm. How's that like? Honestly and especially speaking. the and I don't want this. It wasn't just yeah, a regular yeah. performance. And I don't want this PR answer. Fun. I want like actual, honest, vulnerable like answer. Like how is it like living in fame? Like give Grammy speech, right? Um, <laughs> there's something Anthony Joshua says. I don't know if I'm going to you know, say it. You know, I'm going to just paraphrase it. But mm. he says, never let failure get into your heart and success mm. into your head. Mm. So like for me, I, I believe in balance. So I stay balanced. Mm. I stay working. I stay. Mm. So the fact that, oh, the Roots album is out today doesn't mean I should just bask in that. <laughs> no, because there's something ahead. There's mm. a goal. Yes. And like, there's, there's never really a goal. Because once it gets <laughs> to that goal, so, uh, so you score one oh you want to yeah. score two oh so like like, yeah. like, like a yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's deep deep yeah. so like it, yeah. that's that's all right so two things i would like to touch yes yeah, sorry um you told us about how you felt so you you share uh, the same thing right no not necessarily Grammy speech because, let's go i mean like i still want to be the kind of guy i mean i didn't talk about mm. right. so i still want to be like maybe that. with facial marks mm. so i'll do it this time but like uh, i like i'm a community person i like to move around people mm. although it's kind of hard now because people are like all right, so let's talk about your name, The Caveman. How did you come up with that and why The Caveman? I was um, in law school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was, it was a time when I was in law school. Um, oh, Nigeria? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kanu, Bagala Kanu. Wow. Yeah, so um, I was going to class and like, you know, if you know anything about law school, you know the, I think so, so. the stress that mm. comes with it, you know, mm. so... And me, me being a musician, you know, I came from Lagos to like Bagauda Kano, outskirts of Kano. So like mm. for me, it was like taking me back to somewhere. Right. So I just saw that as my cave experience. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Since I was going to class on there, I'm like, man, mm. I think I'm a caveman. <laughs> I came back from Kano, I shared it with my brother and I shared like the essence of it. And, mm. you know, Tricks. caveman is, is, is pretty simple. Purity, yeah. creativity. And primitiveness, you know, just that, you know, the whole That's lesson. some period. So, For yeah. anyone who hasn't listened to the Roots album, tell them what they're missing. Man, shh, high life on steroids, because mm. like Ooh. what we're trying to say with that album is that high life has not gone anywhere. Yep. You know, especially on for never. this generation. Mm. You know, on or never. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not gone, you know. So, yeah. Right. But what we always say is like, who no, no, go no. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so, if so, uh, well, really quickly, if someone is watching right now and they feel your energy, especially that, that they're, you know, finding about you, what should they expect? Like, how can they support? What, what do you need from fans? Man, we're just, still gonna play the fan ask me to ask you though. Just, <laughs> just honesty, right? You know, just, mm. just. I, I would say, if you're listening to the roots, just listen to it with an open mind. Mm. Like just, you know. And you can find that yeah. on all platforms. Is mm-hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Okay. It's everywhere. Right. It's everywhere. Yeah. All right. So, um, this is a segment. A fan asked me to ask you, and um, this fan is asking, "What is your relation? I think it should be, "What are your relationship status?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a very sensitive topic for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just like to keep it calm okay. you know um, it's kind of complicated but we move <laughs> we understand complicated <laughs> how about you <laughs> alright so if fan asked me to ask you what does it take to be part of your band mm. ah um, um, <laughs> let's say movement movement is yeah movement um, yeah. I mean just reach out <laughs> you so you can have different types of people come in and go. Yeah, everybody's a cave man as, as long as you believe. Yeah, so, I'm a cave so if man. I, what, 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 what if we don't have the talents in this singing, but we can move for you? Yeah, guys. yeah that's that's you can. Ah, man. then we have business. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so a fan asked me to ask you to perform one song. Alrighty. <clears throat> <clears throat> ma ma ma. ma kwazi ni fogabu. Oboye ma kwazi yo. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get Jebenu. I get Lawanu. I get Jebenu. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Lele, lele. I thought 
think you're going to come in with. Yeah. 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 It's humble. It's humble. <laughs> all right. All right.